Have you ever wondered what it might have been like for Mary when the angel announced to her that she would be the mother of Jesus? Well, stick around because today we're going to look at her response to what the angel told her. Hey there, my name is Wayne Riz, and on this channel we are walking the journey towards Jesus together. You can subscribe to join our community and get a new Bible study video every Tuesday. 2017 has been quite a year for my family and I. I was the interim youth pastor at a church that I love. An interim just means that I was there for a season while the church went through some staffing changes. And so in June, I was done at that church and I started looking for work. I applied for a lot of jobs, including one in Hillsborough, Oregon. Spoiler alert, I got that job. But as I was looking at that job, I remember thinking, God, if you want us to be at that church, you'll have to do amazing things because we can't afford to live in Hillsborough, Oregon. But we stepped out, sent in a resume, and God has done amazing things. Our house in Longview sold for more than we were asking for, which helped us to pay off some bills and have money to be able to afford a home here in Hillsboro. In Luke chapter 1, we read an account of an angel visiting Mary and telling her that she would have a son and that that son would be Jesus, the son of the Most High God. In verse 34, we read, And Mary said to the angel, How will this be, since I am a virgin? And the angel answered her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, your relative Elizabeth in her old age has also conceived a son, and this is the sixth month with her who was called barren. For nothing will be impossible with God. And Mary said, Behold, I am the servant of the Lord. Let it be to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. In the natural world, this isn't how things work. Mary had never been with a man, so she shouldn't be pregnant with a child. Uh, Mary was old enough to know where babies come from, so she let the angel know that this isn't actually how things usually work. Mary knew that what the angel was telling her wouldn't be possible if it weren't for God, but nothing is impossible with God. Mary would not face what God was calling her to do alone. We see later in the chapter that she goes to visit her relative Elizabeth, who was advanced in years and had been barren, but was now six months pregnant with John. When we see what God is doing in other people's lives, it can encourage us that he will walk with us through what he is calling us to. Verse 28 tells us that the angel said, Greetings, O favored one, the Lord is with you. God will give us power to do what he has called us to do. Without fully understanding, Mary trusted God's plan. She said, I am a servant of the Lord. She was willing to walk out what God had called her to. We don't need to walk this journey on our own power, but we can and should rely on the power of the Holy Spirit. Thank you so much for checking out the video today. You can smash that thumbs up button, subscribe and share it with your friends. And let me leave you with this question that you can answer in the comments and discuss with a friend, a parent, or a pastor. Maybe we don't have an angel appearing to us, but what are some ways that we can know what God wants us to do? There are some more questions below for discussion. I'd encourage you to check those out, and I'll see you later, alligator. Who was called six months with her? Mary knew that what the angel was telling her, Mary, 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 Mary. We don't need to subscribe, click on the circle on the left. To check out our friend's channel, click that circle on the right. To watch a video that YouTube thinks you should watch, click that box in the middle. And if you want to learn more about supporting me on Patreon, click the link in the description.